Wanted among the living this morning, Lord. We salute our supremacy for the wonderful things you have done in our lives, Lord. We give you all the praise, we give you all the praise, Jehovah Nisi, Lord. We salute our supremacy once again, O Lord God. We bow down before your throne this morning and we say we thank you, Jesus. We bless the holy name, we bless the holy name, O Lord God. We bless you, Lord, we bless you, Lord, we bless you, Lord. We thank you, Lord. We thank you for the things you are doing in our lives, Lord. Do you know what is the gospel? What is the gospel? Is there anyone who can explain to your friend about the gospel? Is there anyone who can explain to your friend? What is the gospel? Me. Okay. Uh, she said the gospel is the word of God. I clap for her. Please, please come. More, more. Thing. That's the word of God, right? Yes. And do you know who is Jesus Christ? Yes. Uh, now, when you finish, they try to raise up their hand. So I will explain to you, okay? Yeah. Jesus came to the world 2,000 years ago, right? Yeah. right? And he preached the gospel, right? Yeah. And we have to know what is the gospel, right? Jesus came to the world 2,000 years ago and he preached the gospel to the people. So that's why the Bible records the gospel is a good news. Is there anyone who can explain to your friend? Or, okay, listen first, I will guess, okay? And please let me know, uh, is it correct or not, okay? I will try to guess. Is this good news? Uh, the gospel is the, is the good news because the gospel helps you make a lot of money. Is it correct or not? Then we have to know why the Bible records the gospel is a good news. We have to know that, right? So, before I talk about it, I want to talk about the human being. So look at your friend next to you and ask this question, who are you? Who are you? <laughs> and maybe some friend, they will say, my name is this, and I am this is old, right? But I want to talk more the essential thing about the human being. 
And I will give you one more question. Okay. What kind of being, what kind of being did God originally create us? Originally created a human being as a being to rule over the world. And I will read one Bible verse. And I will give you another question. But the answer is in the Bible verse. So listen carefully. Okay. I will read Genesis chapter 1, verse 26. Then God said, Let us make a man in our image, in our likeness, and let them rule over the fish of the sea, and the birds of the air, over the lines of God, over all the earth, and over all the creatures, and move around the ground. Who is the God? Who is God? God is the creator, right? God is the ruler over all the world, right? So, the human being, they also wear the image of God. It means, because of that image of God, the human being, they can become a ruler. But, the Satan, the evil one, he came, and he jealous of men. And he said, why? Why were only human created in the image of God? And why did the human receive everything from God? And why are human beings ruling Eden as a king? The Satan, he was jealous of man. You know the story of the tree of knowledge of good and evil? Do you know the story? That story. God gave a command to Adam and Eve. You do not take the fruit from the tree of knowledge of good and evil, right? And if you take it, you shall die. Right? God already gave a command to Adam and Eve. But as you know, in the end, they listened to serpent's word. They did everything. They were under the people. They were under the feet of the human being. Because the human being, they were ruler, right? Everything, money, food, house. Adam and Eve, they do not need to worry about it. Because everything, they were under their feet. As you know, Jesus is our king, right? Jesus came to the world as a king. Right? Do you believe that Jesus Christ is our king? Mm -hmm. Jesus came to the world as a king. He doesn't want to become a king alone. He wants to co-king with you guys. That's why Jesus came to the world and he preached the gospel to you. Do you believe that Jesus he shed his blood on the cross? Yes. Jesus will become a king over the world. And at that time, if you prepare well, you can become co-king with Jesus Christ at that time, as I said before. It is not that Jesus will become the only king. He wants to become co-king with you guys. Those who prepare the image of God. Do you understand? Yes. Oh. Do you have to prepare and do you have to recover the image of God? Yes. Yeah. We have to. We have to. Then how? How can we prepare? Jesus came to the world and he preached what? He preached the gospel, right? So, from now on, we must listen to carefully the gospel to prepare the image of God. We understand. But going to church and believing in Jesus Christ, it does not mean that we become king with Jesus Christ and rule together. But we must, we must have the Holy Spirit. We must have what? We must have the Holy Spirit, right? So first, we must listen to the gospel, right? And second, we must have 
the Holy Spirit. So, if we do not, how can I say, if you do not want to be lost, the image of God, again, like Adam and Eve, when they disobey God's command, they lost the image of God, right? But if you do not want to lost like Adam and Eve, you must be humble. You never, you shouldn't love, and you shouldn't be dragged by the money, food, or visible things on this earth. But being humble and being obedient and being patient in our daily life. Close your eyes and let us pray. Thank you, Lord, for giving us today's message. And thank you, Lord, for teaching us who we are about our identity. We didn't know that we are ruler, we are king. But you created a human being as a ruler, as a king over the world. But we do not want to serve money, food, or paper. Because you created a human being as a ruler in the image of God. So we want to recover the image of God. And we want to become co-team with Jesus Christ. And we want to rule together with Jesus Christ. Thank you, Jesus.